Do you know what the air quality is like in your community? This video will demonstrate how to use the Arizona Environmental Public Health Tracking Data Explorer to learn about environmental hazards that could impact your health. It will cover how to construct a data query, as well as how the data will be displayed as maps, charts, and tables. To get started with the Arizona Data Explorer, go to azdhs.gov backslash ephd and click on the Arizona Environmental Public Health Tracking, or EPHT for short, Explorer thumbnail. This will open a new window on your screen. Let's orient ourselves to the Data Explorer. We'll be starting with the Query Dataset panel on the left-hand side of the page. As we use the dropdowns to define our query, results will be displayed as a map, a table, and a chart. Map settings are found in the lower left-hand corner of the screen, and a legend is found in the lower right-hand corner of the screen. The size of any of the panels can be adjusted by clicking and dragging the gray dividing bars. First, choose your geography. This will determine the level at which the data will be displayed. All data are available at the county level, and a limited amount of data are also available at the sub-county level where the state is divided into 126 communities. For public water systems, also commonly thought of as water utilities, data can be displayed by water system, where each point represents an approximation of where the water system delivers water. Next, choose the content area that you are interested in exploring. You can select environmental data, such as air quality or climate, or health outcome data, such as birth defects or cancer. Next, select an indicator that you would like to be displayed. The indicators are unique to each content area and allow you to select specific health conditions or environmental hazards of interest. If you want to know more about a particular indicator, click this icon. It will take you to a page that explains more about the different measures how the measures were calculated, and how the indicator relates to the environment or health. Once you've selected your indicator, use the Measure dropdown to view variations on how your indicator is measured. For example, you could see the age-adjusted rate or average annual number of cases over a five-year period. If you want to learn more about different measures, click the question mark icon next to the measure. This will open a pop-up window with the metadata or additional details about the data, such as where it came from, why it was collected, and any limitations of the data. This information can also be found by clicking About at the top of the page. Finally, select the year of data that you would like displayed. Data may be displayed for single years, or for some indicators, as multi-year periods. Depending on the indicator that you have selected, additional options may appear below the gray line. These dropdowns can be used to add additional levels of granularity to your data, such as age, gender, or ethnicity. You might also be able to select different pollutants or severity of environmental indicators. Next, we'll talk about how the data from your query are displayed. In the title, you will see all of the selections you made for your search, including selections made for each of the dropdowns in the query panel. If you would like to compare two data sets side by side, such as an environmental hazard and a health outcome, click the Add an Additional Map button at the top of the page. This will bring up a second map. You can also toggle back and forth between a map and a table for each query. Once you are finished viewing your second topic, click Remove Additional Map at the top of the screen. The legend displays the numeric value of the colors on the map. These can be divided in different ways with different cut points under Map Settings on the left-hand side of the page. Click the Layer List tab to add layers such as schools, hospitals, and tribal lands. Below the map, you can view data in a bar chart format. 
You can view the data over years or months depending on the topic selected. If you hover your mouse over any given bar, the numerical value will be displayed. The data are also visible in the Table panel, where you can view exact values for each county, as well as a benchmark or state average. You can also download the data as an Excel file using the Download Data button. The map, table, and bar chart are all linked, so if you highlight a county or other geography in any of the three, it will be highlighted in all panels. A highlighted county will also appear in the trend chart as a new line. Now you're ready to use the data. Make sure you read the disclaimer information by clicking About at the top of the page before you get started. Thanks for viewing our video. If you have any questions, please contact us at ept at azdhs.gov. Happy exploring!